Hey everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. Uh, I am JP. That's Los. That's Elias. Our links and stuff to our Facebooks and all that other crap shall be at the bottom. Facebooks. Whatever, Twitter, whatever you kids are into nowadays. <laughs> Uh, anyways, let's get into it, all right? Because we already have several episodes of us explaining what the fuck we do at the very beginning. Okay. Anyways, let's start off with pop, pop. <laughs> that was like really loud. <laughs> Whatever. Let's hop along. We're so, supposed to do it in conjunction. Where are pop. You right <laughs> pop. Oh, pop. You have uh, an auto turn off on your phone. I hate people that are trying to show you <laughs> I hate people who don't mind their business. No, no, no. Oh, they're trying to show you something, God. and they have the auto uh, sleep mode on their yeah. phone, and yeah. it's like five, ten seconds, and they're constantly having to press the fucking phone to keep it from is going this? to sleep. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. That is annoying. If you're going to be... I is mean, this Lowe's show, or is it three-way podcast show? We put show? our shit to Thank sleep you. anyways. Just fucking turn off the auto sleep. Yeah. We're... You're gonna shut it off anyways. Yeah. Don't matter. The Point. Fuck? There's a reason for it. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. Anyway. Let him know. So starting off with pop. Uh, so I think it's good news. Uh, so <laughs> the writers, uh, I wouldn't say the creators, but the writers of uh, Game of Thrones, David Benoff and D. B. Benoff. 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 And D. B. Weiss or Benny. Weiss or Weiss. Whatever his damn name is. Weez. The guys who are writing the shows for fucking Game of Thrones. D dot B dot. D dot B dot B dot. Point is, uh, they were set to, I after blew. the show, after their horrible piece of shit ending really? of Game of Thrones. But you, you were there after for After their six, horrible you were there piece for six of shit seasons. ending but you were there of for Game six of seasons. Thrones. Because they wanted to be into Star Wars. They were like, oh, we're going to write Star Wars. So let's hurry the fuck this shit up. That way we can go just jump into Star Wars. Well, it turns out. That that has been canceled. They're not no longer going to write for the new trilogy. It was supposed to be a new trilogy based on something. I'm excited about that. Oh, just were because, you? Yeah, because oh, I was like, they were, they were crappy. That. They were crappy writers. I think their endings are horrible. Their beginnings are all, all great. All great. Look at other shows. They're all great. Except all great. Except their endings. All their endings great. are trash. Anyway, trash. um, so yeah, and I'm kind of excited about that simply because of the fact like I'm not even gonna go see the new Star Wars. That comes out. Oh, I don't yeah. give. I don't give. I already got my tickets. Um, I don't count it as a Star Wars. These last two movies plus this one is just like random shit. JJ's back. I believe in JJ. I hope, they, I hope they go like Terminator. And JJ, I believe. I, you know, and I, JJ, I, I, I hope I they believe. go like Terminator where they just start off and they just ignore the other movies. I hope they. <laughs> I hope they do a Star Wars just like that. But uh, what do you think? Uh, um, you think? Uh, I think it doesn't really matter. I mean, we hadn't heard any premise of these new trilogy. If if for some reason. The, the head of Disney didn't like what these guys were bringing to the table, then okay, well, whatever. Well, I heard that they ca- they canceled because they had too much on their plate. They had other They shows. have um some kind of Netflix deal yeah. that they're working on, and it's like worth $300 million, supposedly. Yeah, uh, well, then great. I want someone who's like 100% committed. Dedicated, committed. Yeah, yeah. So especially if it's going to be something new. These guys are going to be in the middle of other shit. And I agree. And go happy times with Netflix you know, Starflix, Star, 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 Flix, Star Wars, Star, 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 Flix, Star, Fox, Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars needs people that are like 100% committed. Yeah. Like JJ Abrams. And people with original ideas, not just doing well, that's a what New Hope. Ryan Johnson did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Ryan event. Johnson that's did. That's what Ryan Johnson did, and no one liked it. Nobody so. liked it. Well, anyway, so that's what's <laughs> happening as far as that. But good news for HBO. Uh, they have agreed. Why are you typing your phone? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, good news for HBO is now they're going to have a spinoff of Game of Thrones. So originally they were going to have like when the White Walkers were created, but not anymore. Now it's just going to be based on the House of Dragons. So basically like the Targaryen family and how they got into the world of Game of, Th- Game of Thrones. Yeah, I, I, I'm okay with that. Um, but we all know how it ends. We all know how it ends. It's horrible. Uh, thanks to these idiots. But Why are you your phone? don't worry about me tapping my phone, <laughs> dog. I'm a tip. Point is, the settings point is I probably out. will watch it. I probably will watch it. Hopefully, because it, 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 it's so unknown. There's not a real, like, you just know, like, history lessons from they tell you in the yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, movies. yeah, yeah. So but, hopefully they bring that together. But you together. know how it is. That's, okay. So that's one thing. They, they decided to, okay, not do the same mistake they have now where no one knows what the ending is and people hate the ending. Now, you can't really complain because the ending is no. Motherfucker burns down. 
everybody, and then no, he, he gets doesn't. stabbed. He tries to burn on everybody. And then he gets stabbed in the fucking by back Jamie. By, by Jamie. So Jimmy there's the ending. You can't complain, because that's what's going to be the ending. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely a fucking okay so with that. So now, it. they're going to give you again a good other five, six seasons of the House Targaryen. And you'll watch. And you will watch I it. will. Okay. Shut I up. will, but I don't want to hear no complaints. I didn't like the ending. Bitch, shut the fuck up. This is how it ends. <laughs> well, no. uh, so... Kudos to HBO. I think they're also working on making uh, the Rebellion, which is the part like right after the House of Dragons, mm. where the Rebellion with Robert and Baratheon and uh, mm. uh, oh, yeah, the House I, Starks. It's gonna be. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be see. really great to see too. I think. The younger? Um, how, how are you gonna portray younger versions of those guys? I don't know. CGI, be, baby. <laughs> CGI. <laughs> hey, uh, have you seen Watchmen on HBO? No, I haven't seen it. Okay, I haven't. Had, I took HBO off because they were charging twenty dollars a month. Like, nah, you can go fuck yourself. It is a little trying to push a a, a agenda. You think? Because Watchmen, you, you listen to the you you've seen the movie, the graphic novels has nothing to do with any anything really. Yeah, in this. and it's supposed to. But it's supposed to be after. As its own thing, it's. Pretty good. It's pretty uh, uh, you, captivating. You already, but you already killed it for me. You said agendas. I don't like it when yeah, people show up. No, it's like why? Why did it have to be around this? Nothing in Watchmen that we've seen before has anything to do with. Well, this. I'll put it. To, I'll put it to you this way: a show that has nothing to do with agendas, and it shouldn't be with agendas at all. Uh, which I saw the trailer that just came out, which is The Witcher. It was announced <gasps> that on December twentieth oh is going to come out. Did you I, see the one? I, the one I, I saw the new trailer. Him in the bathroom. Okay, what? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Geralt. Geralt. Supposedly... This Geraldo? Is G- G- uh, well, anyways, supposedly it's based Jerizzle? off of, off of... Like, it's on the books, but it's after the books. So I think I'm going to go and read the books just to see exactly what it goes on. What a nerd. Uh, so, yeah, so what a, a nerd. Who reads? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I feel like they've done a pretty awesome job on it. Looking at just the trailer. Just the trailers yeah. and clips and the breakdowns. It looks pretty cool. And his voice, badass. his voice goes just with the fucking character. Like he's he sounds just yeah he's a Witcher so he's the Witcher he's, like, yeah. he's a Witcher hey when does it come out December one December twentieth oh yeah Huddle he's a Witcher in the cold <laughs> with a nice fireplace going that'd be nice turn on with a nice whiskey and rye yeah we should all watch it together and snuggle up together yeah we should yeah except it's be gonna great. be hot as fuck here in Houston wait what so. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised heat wave heat wave so I mean hey you know what. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, honestly, I think Henry Cavill, 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 whatever his damn name is, Chavell, whatever his name is, uh, I think he's gonna do an act, uh, an excellent job. Hey, put some respect on his name. Yeah, puts a speck on his name. But That's yeah, Superman, also bro. Also, was announced, which uh, which was Spider Man into the Spider Verse two. Yeah, uh, 2022. Yeah, tw- tw- it's, it's, it's it's a far off. Um, 2021, 2022. 20, 20, I don't know. I mean, I mean, after they did, I'm not even gonna lie. They, they, those kids went after that movie, and they loved that movie. Um, well, I can see why they so. Yeah, I think it was a lot of kids. I personally what? was like, uh, where did? It? I was Every, like, everybody who saw that movie liked that movie. Uh, yeah, it was okay. It wasn't. Right. It was it's good. On, it's on the channel. It, it, it wasn't. Down. It wasn't all that. Good. It was pretty it was, good. It was, it was uh, too funny. hyped it up. Was good. It was pretty uh, good. Too hyped up. Yeah, just. I, I thought it was they should have got another route, but it's okay. You know it happens. But uh, shout out to them; they're making another movie, and so they're gonna go all out and they're gonna make money. Who doesn't like Spider Man? Spider Man like to this movie. day is number one superhero. I think that draws in no matter what. Even if you're related to Spider Man, look at Venom. Uh, Venom was Venom. a Venom was a crappy ass movie, and it's people a went. Movie. And people went. Nah, so it's a piece of shit. It was a piece it's of a shit. Movie. It's a piece of shit. Uh, it's uh slated to release. April eighth, twenty twenty two. So cool. in two years. Two years. That's a long time too. You think so, man? We're already gonna beat the twenty twenty right now. Man, fuck. I can't wait. And Cowboy Bebop was pushed till next year, so what? Fuck, dude. Henry Cho. Died. New uh, consoles next year. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah that's a lot of new stuff. But yeah, so that closes enough for pop culture. Segment but before we pop. before we go to the next segment, I do pop. want I do pop. want to say uh. Rest in peace to John say? Witherspoon. Uh, he's the one that he's the one that played Pop bang, bang, Friday. Bang. Bang, he was bang, also bang. the grandpa in in the Boondocks. Uh, he's one of my favorite uh, funny movies of all time, which is Friday. Friday to this day, I'm 32. To this day, I you're can watch, put, put that shit in I don't and I can laugh just my yet. fucking ass off. Uh, it's one of the greatest movies I think of comedy. Um, so he was going to be, he's going to be missed. They were going to, they were going to make another Friday. It was slated. They were going to start working on it and shooting it this December. 
And unfortunately, he passed away at the age of 77. So shout out to John Witherspoon. Uh, we love you, man. One, man, one of right, my favorite, Pete. favorite people. All right, Pete. Uh, to just follow on YouTube made, and shit like that. He made me who I am. Shut yeah, he made me who I am, too. So let's move along to sports. <laughs> Touchdown. It's a home run. Goal. So, sports. um, sports, uh, a part space of me, sports. space sports. a part of me is not, doesn't give a, doesn't really give a shit. Part of you? Uh, part the other of me. part of me just makes me want to laugh. Uh, so the Astros lost the world they series. Did. Uh, thank Work God, hard. man. Their fucking fans are starting to be Work annoying. Hard, man. Starting to be annoying as fuck. All these bandwagon fans just started hopping on. Well, that's been happening for two, the last two or three years. But anyway, uh, they lost to Washington. I believe they lost to Washington Nationals. Nationals yes. Uh, Internationals. Uh, Can you stop talking? Can I talk? Like six and yeah, two. let, let, let uh, somebody who actually watched this. I, I don't think they won a road game. They got stomped. Um, but, uh, you, you know, I feel sorry for <laughs> like, like, the No the, one won a home game. I don't know. The whole point Are is uh, I hope that all the old Astros fans that Did actually watch any been the watching the game. <laughs> No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, okay you stop they have been watching the games since like 1990s and all that stuff. The real I mean, fans, not the I mean, ones that just learned like two years ago. Uh, I feel bad for them. But I'm kind of happy so we can start focusing on basketball and done? football. All right. So the Gage. Washington Nationals, uh, man, a lot of credit credit given to them. Uh, they tore through the playoffs in a bunch of elimination games and always won their elimination games. Um it just shows the tenacity that Washington had. No one really gave them a shot at the beginning of the season, at the beginning of the playoffs, to really get anywhere close to what they did. Um, but they deserved it. They they played really hard. You got uh, Max Scherzer, who's been at it for a good while in this game. He for sure deserved uh, this ring. He, uh, after not playing game six, uh, because... He couldn't, he literally couldn't move. Uh, they had to get some injections on his neck. Went out, went out in game, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. He did play game six. He didn't play game five. Played game six. Uh, tore through the squad. Then you had Strasburg coming in. Young guy, drafted by the Nationals. Not uh, a young guy. He's been there for a while. Oh no. Uh, yeah, he's been <laughs> yeah. with the Nationals, but as a young guy, you know what? What's Nationals. funny too about uh, Strasburg is that I remember when he came in, and then when he tore, what was it? The uh, he got injured really bad like, initially. Yeah, as, yeah, as soon as he, John. yeah, that's crazy. And then seeing that he actually was able to well, help a, the Nationals win the World basic Series procedure, and that's crazy. Even, it's crazy that they were cutting mm. his innings when he was young, trying to take care of his arm. Yeah, he still ended up having Tommy John surgery. It's kind of proven that after Tommy John surgery, these pitchers come back stronger. This guy's on another level. Yeah, um, for sure. He shut down the Astros as Dick Scherzer. Um, so congrats to the Nationals. They deserved it. Uh, Rendon is going to be a free agent. That guy's about to get paid. Um, Soto, Soto uh, coming up. Uh, rookie. Uh, this guy has shown up big for this squad. I can see a lot of good years ahead of him. Uh, so they got a good squad there in Washington. Uh uh, who, who knows what's going to happen to Anthony Rendon? Maybe they keep him. I doubt it. Maybe he goes somewhere and gets that max contract. Yeah. So we'll see. But, yeah, congrats to the Nationals. They deserved it. Yeah, work hard. Work hard. <laughs> you got a, your phone. Yeah, it's oh, turned off. No, you got to tap this. it. Yeah, it was so bored by your baseball talk, it went off. So... <laughs> So uh, the NFL dread, uh, NFL trade line came through, trade line. and not a lot of big names. I mean, Emmanuel Sanders was traded from the Denver Broncos that, to the 49ers. Let me talk that about was that. actually a good trade for them. Immediately, the guy has 112 yards, one touchdown, a huge target for Garoppolo. Garoppolo, I, I believe, had his best game of the season. Um, yeah, again on Thursday night against yeah. the uh, um, and Emmanuel. It was against the Cardinals, though. Yeah, no, but the Cardinals are a solid squad. Uh? I think so. Nah, yeah, it's just. They're, they're, they're what, having, three and four? Uh, Come on. Yeah, but their offense is having growing pains. They're just, you know. Anyways, uh, Emmanuel Sanders came up huge in that game. Yeah. Going over 100 yards. Basically, out of nowhere, becoming Garoppolo's favorite target. Well, let's not say out of nowhere. He was on my fantasy football team oh at the very beginning. And uh, I was going to drop him, but then they traded him, and I just I kept him. So, well, amazing. You hit the big bucks. I don't I Garoppolo, Garoppolo, to me, looked like a different quarterback. 
finally having a wide receiver that is a vet. Because uh, I think Emmanuel Sanders knows how to read the the route trees as far as how to quit and win a turn. And they, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is used to that with the Patriots, like mm-hmm. ha, cl- receivers being where they're supposed to be or at yeah, least in the vicinity. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so with him being that, I think it helped. But so having that and uh, mm-hmm. already having um, uh, Kittles as a tight end target. But Kittles was getting has been getting really good co- uh, coverage against him all season. So finally having Emmanuel yeah. Sound, Sanders out there is I think is a great trade uh, by the Broncos and I and and there was another trade. Um, the Miami Dolphins traded away um, their running back uh, Kevin. Uh, what's his name? Fudge. Drake. Uh, Kevin, yeah, Kenyon Drake, Kenyon Drake, Draco, yeah, and Draco. Kenyon Drake exploded like had a really good game for the Cardinals. Him. Yeah, a really good game. So, so I mean. Just show you like bottom feeders what they do to their their players. Not only that, uh, Akeem Talib was traded from the Rams to Miami uh, for some draft picks. So, R.I.P. to his career. Yeah, R.I.P. to his career. Uh, yep. His most infamous thing, which I enjoyed, was when Steve Smith was like, "I sub son," and that <laughs> when he burned him. Woo! Steve Smith, one of the best receivers of all time. Yeah, should have gotten a ring, but uh, yeah, he should have got a ring. They cheated and they recorded all his routes. But anyway, no. um, uh, so no. yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much. There wasn't much trade that happened. I mean, Le'Veon Bell was slated to be traded. Uh, yeah, the NFL trade trade deadline is one of the worst in, in sports. I think so too. Not a lot of action happened. I think so. basketball is more exciting than this. Oh yeah, NBA is for sure like top. Uh, then you have MLB, which has a pretty good trade deadline. But NFL just has the worst. The trade worst. Uh, I I feel like n- not re- not a lot of teams got better. I don't. I mean, maybe just outside of the 49ers, maybe in their slot receiver, uh, Cardinals, maybe in the running back. I just don't see a lot. The the Texans, uh, uh, hometown team. They were rumored to get Le'Veon Bell along with um Dallas Cowboys. Not Dallas Cowboys. I'm sorry. Uh, Dallas Cowboys were going after their safety, uh, Jamal Adams. Uh, it's just a lot of rumors. Nothing happened. Those were the two main trades, I think. Um, outside of Jalen Ramsey getting traded to the Rams, it's not really, not really a game changer. Yeah. I mean, NFL, NFL sucks. Boo, uh, NFL, boo. NFL's awesome. I love boo. NFL. NFL's the best sport in all of America. Hands fucking I don't dare. really watch it because people kneel. Uh, <laughs> who said that? I still watch it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the NBA is now underway. Uh, we are starting to see a lot of surprise teams. Of course, the West is fucking loaded. Dallas lost the Lakers, uh, but they took the Lakers to to straight up OT. Uh, the Lakers are a good offensive team, not very good defensively. Um, I mean, not only that, we got to see the Clippers who dominated the, the Lakers the first game, uh, dominated the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry's out now, so. Uh, the broken only hand, with a broken Golden hand. State, what's gonna happen? Golden State's done. They're done. They're done. It's done, son. Um, and uh, you know, I, I'm starting to see. I, I, I picked Golden State to go to the playoffs. They're not going to the playoffs this year. No. They're just not. It's done. Oh, without Curry, it's done. He, he's yeah. So I mean, unless Draymond Green has fucking offensive powers that I have. He goes no. out there, and starts shooting with one hand. Yeah. No. But one hand. no. Yeah, and then the Atlanta Hawks are playing great. That rookie for Miami is fucking amazing. What's his name? Terry Horan. What's his name? The rookie for Miami. Uh, Jason Terry? No, he's like a little white boy. Man, that boy can play. Hero. 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 Yeah. Huron. Hero. Whatever his damn name is. Yeah, he's really good. He's I knew, re- I knew he's ahead. fucking good, man. The moment he Miami got drafted, I was like, yeah. I mean, no, I, don't I knew know. it too. Yeah, bo- man, Boston is looking good too. Uh, Milwaukee is looking like Milwaukee. Oh, and Carl Anthony Towns, and then Joel Embiid going at it. Yeah. You know, being all snuggle buddies not, and shit. I, I ain't no bitch. I was racing around lines. I ain't no bitch. And then he put a photo of him crying after the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, "At least I've been to the playoffs, bitch, and I didn't get swept." Hope, oh, yeah. Carl, Ant- I never liked Carl Anthony Towns. I think Carl Anthony I Towns, like he's a little punk. No, Embiid's always trying to push. Me hell forward. yeah, Embiid. Hell yeah. Towns and hell yeah, like, hell, nah. hell yeah, and he always dominates Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, well, but that happened, and got, and that's uh, why Carl that's why that Jimmy fight. Butler that's why Jimmy Butler left those fu- that fucking uh, team because he was like, man, I'm tired of y'all pussy ass, never hustling, being all spoiled and shit. Let me go to a real team with Philly, and so he did. 
And he tied Jimmy Butler too, by the way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so a lot of good stuff in in, in the NBA. Of course, the yeah, Rockets. Uh, uh, actually, the Black Holes are playing better than I thought. But one Black Hole in particular is just just hogging the ball, man. <laughs> Harden Harden is not. Not passing the ball. Yeah, and, and uh, he's not making any threes. He's right not making. Now. He's still not passing the ball. He's like, oh, you know, I'll get through it. You know, one way uh-huh. or another. I guess he's hitting yeah. up those strip clubs again. <laughs> don't matter how many. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> uh, Hey man, no matter how many threes he's take, he's gonna get it back. Hey, um, I don't know, but the Rockets. How many threes can he miss before he makes one? About three hundred. Hmm? But I mean, hey. <laughs> but hey, so it, it's a good start to the NBA season. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's a long way to go, though. It's a very long way to go. But let's go ahead and hop on to gaming. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck was Legend that? Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, um, it, starting with gaming, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about BlitzCon. Uh, so Blitzcon, oh! Blizz, Blizz, oh! no Blitz, Blitz. Blitz. There's no Blitz T con. in there. It's stupid. Blitz now because I'm not. I'm not gonna respond. Blitz. To them. I'm protesting. We're protesting. We're protesting. Since when? Uh, since since they they're Chinese. So um, Blitz can suck my jizz. Yeah, Blitz can suck, suck my yeah. jizz. Yeah. They're actually, actually, they're protesting in Hong Kong. They're already like getting everybody together, or whatever. Anyway, Blizz. Blitzcon. Um, Blitzcon. Uh, tap your phone. Tap your phone. Yeah, tap your phone. So, good. Thank you. Uh, so, Blitzcon had occurred today. Was it today? Yes. It was Friday through today. Yeah. yeah. So, at the very beginning, everyone was like, I don't understand. Everybody's like, Whoa! The guy comes on with his long, ugly ass gray hair. And then he's like, he looks like a straight up fat nerd. You're going to walk us through the. The conference. No, not the whole conference. I just want to talk about the beginning. I I didn't even watch the whole conference. So he comes in and he's like, hi, guys. Uh, So I want to apologize on behalf of Blitz. Mm. Uh, I want to be because we we just basically I'm I'm not doing actual quotes here, guys. I'm just going to like run through it. He basically. (laughs) Yeah. He was like, sorry, because we took quick action, but we still stand by what we say. But we're not really going to apologize. But we will apologize just because we took quick action too quickly. (laughs) But we're still not really sorry because. You know, I take accountability. Bro, his shit did not make sense. If you really thought his shit made sense, it doesn't. He basically was saying... He looks like Geralt the Witcher. No, he's like a fat piece of shit, Geralt. The the fuck? For those of you, uh, y'all who don't know... His name is J. Allen Bark. Brack. Brack. President Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard is a game company that has a big foothold in China... When one of their esport players came out in protest for, you know, going for the people of Hong Kong. We explained this in the last episode. Yeah. Go look at the last episode. Uh, Blitz, oh, Sir Blizzard episode, went ahead and uh, defended China, basically. Kicked yeah. that esport player out. They, they took his winnings. You messing with my bag, baby. A whole debacle. So now people are hitting on Blizzard. Now they're doing BlizzCon, which so is then, their big event. Yes. So BlizzCon. Uh, hold on, so hold on, hold on. Let's 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 do it right. They messed up, right? They gave them they gave them one year ban and took that fool's money. They yes. Then, then but they then they came back, back a couple of days and said, "All right, we're gonna give you six months and some of your money back." Yeah. And then they went quiet, waiting for BlizzCon, and then uh, Fat Jarok came out. And apologize. Can you put the video of Go when ahead. he apologized? Yeah, yeah, I have it up. I yeah, just it. put the stupid. I got it. I he got doesn't. It. He doesn't really apologize. He just basically says, "Hey, man, we rushed too quickly. That's on me." That's that's the whole length of his fucking apology. <clears throat> like if you if, yeah. if you hear it, it's just fucking bullshit. Well, well, that's that's the amount that China let them apologize for. So oh yeah. China gave it. No, this is and what the you worst. To say. And the this worst is what part you is say. the worst part. It was like, Woo! and then they're like, "All right, so since these motherfuckers are all mad, let's give them Diablo 4. Here, here's Diablo 4. Not on your fucking cell phone. But <laughs> that's Diablo Immortal. But regardless, like even leading up to BlizzCon, all of these things were already leaked. Look, I yeah no, but my the the funniest shit is all these people that are like oh Blizzard this yeah Blizzard, Blizzard that, that and they're like they're... oh Diablo four yay woo <laughs> Diablo four <laughs> fuck China like like that's basically they basically and then they're like oh let's push Overwatch and oh ah, well anyways Elias you can cover hold all on that. man you're like jumping ahead too yeah, fast that that shit got me mad it's like stick to your guns bro no okay hold on hold on no, you hold hold on. on. 
you guys don't want to go there because there's been plenty of examples that everybody in this room, including myself, we're like, fuck these motherfuckers. I'm not doing that. And then what do we do? We turn around, go right back to them. Uh, I haven't bought Nike. Huh? I haven't bought. I don't buy Nike. Buy Nike? Yeah. Nike. Nike. I don't buy Nike. Oh, my God. Okay. Not Nike, but you watch the sport that they endorse. They can endorse all they want. But that's what I'm saying. Tencent endorses Blizzard to do these things. But people will still go back to them, just like you will still continue to watch like, I'm, football. I'm glad you let stop that whole uh, it, 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 man hater thing. They like I'm it. not, I'm not gonna trash on <laughs> those people so for money. that. But uh, like, like we were discussing too last time with the Be whole mad. Blizzard thing. It's Stupid it's ass. it's difficult. It, it, even I mean, I hate to say it, but I mean he's not the president anymore, but he is president. Barack Obama actually said something about it's hard to be like with the cancel culture when everything is so gray now. Because not everybody's going to be a thousand percent good and there's always going to be something in the background. The reality is you're right. You're hundred percent right. We only care about what we like. Obama's right. Uh, I don't know oh about all God. that. But I'm just saying, saying no politics for that part. But what I'm saying is that it's not, you can't just be like, this is it and that's it. Because there's always gray areas. There's always like somebody, you know, that's done shitty things in their past, but you still like them. Or you still talk to them. Fuck Blizzard. <laughs> that, but I'm also saying that too. I'm also saying that too as a huge fan of Overwatch. And oh my god. Oh, that's it. That's exactly <laughs> oh the, the whole buildup. But look, oh I, my god. That's the thing. That like, trailer, bro. <laughs> to, to this day, I got teary eyed. It was so good. To this it was day, so dude, good. That the tra- oh, hey, uh, something they're doing uh, regarding that is um, uh, they're gonna. Um, uh, let Overwatch 1 players play yeah. with Overwatch 2. Uh, we can, yeah, I, I, hey, I got you on all that. But we can continue. We can talk about uh, Diablo 4 Yeah, as let's well. talk Diablo 4. Yeah. Uh, so the trailer looked pretty creepy, I guess. I mean, the trailer that they, you saw was just a cinematic trailer. But mm-hmm. there's actually a gameplay that they showed uh, afterwards. Uh, I didn't even watch the trailer, the, the cinematic one. I was like, I don't give a fuck about those. I get tired of those. Like like with the uh, Elder Scrolls Online, they try to <laughs> fucking hype you up with this bullshit that never happens yeah. in this the actual Panther, fucking game. Like, I hate that lost. shit so much with a passion. So I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> but so that's what I, th- when I saw that it was just a cinematic trailer with all this bullshit that was supposed to be in the game, but it's not. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fuck with that game. Fuck uh, Diablo, right? But then I saw the gameplay and it's actually pretty good. Like, if you ever played any of the, th- the Diablo series games, it's all top down, but this one, it looks pretty good. Like you can tell, definitely see it's next gen. It's for, you know, it's probably going to have all the w- bells and whistles of like ray tracing on PC, maybe on PS five and then Xbox Scarlet. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it comes to where it's cross play since like kind of like call of duty is kind of like put push that to all the mainstream yeah. like dev companies. So I'm hoping that happens too. That way I can pick it up on PC and I can play with friends on Xbox and P- um, PS4 or PS5, whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like semi-excited for this game. Uh, wh- I have to what do, do a little bit more dig deep because I've never played Diablo. Okay. So I have Diablo 3, but I didn't really like sink my teeth I into it. I have to like sink my teeth into it like big time. Into yeah. It. Do you know, have you ever played like Gauntlet Legends? No. No? Okay, never. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But they also announced Overwatch, and I know you love it. Oh, yeah. So, oh, man. So Papa Jeff comes onto the stage, right? Papa he's, Jeff. He's like, all right, guys. Like, I know there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, but daddy's here. <laughs> and he mentioned something. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not too super familiar with how they announced Overwatch 1, but he said something about someone that was there. I guess he passed away, the original guy who announced uh, Overwatch couldn't be there so that kind of like pre-emphasized like them leading to this trailer that they showed for overwatch 2 and he was like he's like yeah he's like these he's pretty much said the leaks are pretty shitty because you know they wanted to surprise everybody but yeah he was like if we were on the phones watching everything that was as it was unfolding it was really hard to talk about anything because we couldn't talk about anything and then they showed then he's like here's the trailer for overwatch 2 uh and then they showed it it's like a quick it's like a uh i want to say what is it it's like eight minute cinematic trailer for overwatch like for me like the characters are so i don't know i feel like they're super captivating the their story didn't really exist in the game like their stories for the background of the characters exist on the youtube side because that's where over uh, uh overwatch yeah. uh company puts their the stories on yeah, I've seen a couple of them. and they're actually really good and uh, it's like this 
Overwatch, I feel, should be either an anime or a movie as well. It's I feel like it's an that, anime would be it really would good. be that good. Yeah. And then you see this trailer they show for Overwatch two. Uh, introducing, let, I'm gonna go over everything. They're introducing a story mode. They're tr- they're introducing oh, P- wow. the PVE, PVP, uh, new maps, uh, replayable uh, air, <laughs> replayable like multiplayer maps with you with the group story. versus uh, the uh, the bots, whatever. Uh, they had they show they and then they talk about what Los is just saying that if you're an I'm Overwatch sure. one. And you have worked so hard to gain like your your rank, your gear, not your gear, but your um, cosmetic stuff, like all the skins and stuff that will carry on to Overwatch 2. But you don't have to buy Overwatch 2 to play Overwatch 2. You can have the maps that are going to be in Overwatch 2 attached to the to Overwatch 1. Your progress will carry on. Everything will be there, except I believe the way they're going to try to spin it is that you won't have the story mode, you know? That'll be like kind of like an Overwatch 2 thing. Okay, I see what so you're So all the PvP stuff, when you play against other people, it will be it there. It will be there. But that, I, I think that's freaking amazing. Hopefully, they also add uh, crossplay to this, since, like I said, COD is kind of like pushing that towards the mainstream area. Well, I I, I mean, if it's just, the only reason I did never played Overwatch is because literally there was no story. I hate playing with characters I know nothing about. Yeah. Um. And that was one of the main things that when when yeah that was that was my main thing too. I'm not gonna lie. The, initially, I did not did not like I mean, Overwatch, like a, of I, that. I remember when I first played uh, the first Halo, and you get so caught up into his story, like mm-hmm. you like you're into the story and you're into the gameplay. And I thought it was gonna be like that, and it wasn't. So, but uh, I, I mean, hey, Overwatch, I'm I, I probably would get it yeah. on the way. Yeah, fuck Blizzard. Yeah, fuck Blizzard. I'll, I'll give him my money. And, uh, <laughs> 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 That's what I said. Tim's like, you <laughs> fucking fucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, love Blizzard. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but also, uh, by the way, there's a lot of reviews on, uh, and just to jump into the next yeah. topic here, on Death Stranding, there are a lot of reviews out there. I'm super confused. Uh, so Death Stranding Oh, is, man, that's super divisive that's right now. Here. Right now, it's yeah. like so. You either hate, hate, love it, or, or hate, hate, hate it. Yeah, and I don't, I don't understand. I, I, because I use like I'm not a person that goes for the reviews, but I like to review certain things to get some feedback on. For example, like when uh, I just like to see the both spectrum. So I, if I want it myself. Mm-hmm. So for example, like Resident Evil Two, like someone reviewed it and didn't like it, and I was like, "How the hell are you not gonna like it?" And I was like, "No, I, I'll play. I got it. I played it, and I liked it, and I, a lot of other people did too." It's just, but but here it's so decisive. It's either or. But um, so the uh, Death Stranding is coming to PC on uh, 2020, um, yeah. along with Red Dead Redemption Two. By the way, it looks amazing. On but PC. that comes Red Dead Redemption Two comes out this month for yeah. PC. I thought it came. It was gonna be pushed no, back this this month for oh. PC. So I, I'll be buying Death Stranding. Uh, I'll Oof. probably get it that Friday night. So I I won't probably have too much impressions because I'll probably only be a couple hours. Oh, in. A couple hours in, yeah. Oh yeah, um, that that game is beefy as yeah, fuck. Yeah. So how long did it say it was? But more than forty, more than so, forty fifty. I will talk about it next week. Early impressions and. I, I don't know what I'm going to think of this game. I, I could freaking hate it. I could freaking love it. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Hideo, so I love all the Metal Gear games. So I'm already like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I like everything. Even I'm Conan pretty sure O'Brien's I'm going to like it no matter what. Conan, o- Conan O'Brien is in Death Stranding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, I know I said I was going to have impressions on uh, Outer Worlds. I have not had time to, to really dig in. Oh, I can tell you what it is. Trash. Oh, my Next. God. I did get a Luigi's Mansion 3 to also. Didn't have en- I haven't had enough time to uh, dive Damn, stop that. jacking off so much. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, but I just, I will try my best. I finally have some time. I did overtime this week, so I didn't have any days off. So, But I will have a day off this upcoming week. So uh, I'm hoping to just take that day and just freaking play everything. So. Yeah, I, I I have been stuck on uh, Octopath. Yeah, like whooping the shit out of it, like whooping the shit out of it. Like I've only had trouble one time, and after that's been nothing but whoop ass. Uh, ten out of ten, right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what I, I, I yeah, I knew it. What did I say? It's, it's pretty good. It's very entertaining. Um, but yeah, I've been stuck there this whole time. As far as I was gonna buy Outer Worlds, but now that Elias is telling me it's not that good. I mean, look, if you like Fallout games, it, that's what it is. But okay, is it like Bioshock? No. It has a little, some people compare it to Mass Effect. No, I mean, yeah, you can compare it to Mass Effect. Cause I like Mass Effect. But the, but the best, the best way to compare it to anything is Fallout. Fallout is the best way. Don't you to have t- Game Pass? 
Nah, no, he doesn't have gold bro, anymore. I don't have gold or Game Pass anymore. Buy game, buy Ultimate. Bro, I don't want to buy Ultimate because then I never touch those games. Bro, play Outer Worlds and then don't pay the next month. And- <laughs> God damn. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm make. I'm. 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 I'm gonna start making. Oh, by the way, guys, work hard. Uh, uh, I got a little promotion. Know what I'm saying. I'm guaranteed. Oh, fucking time. Man. Uh, yeah. I got a. Oh, I got a. I got a. I got a li- I'm gonna start getting a certain amount of bonus as long as I do my job correctly. Uh, so y'all gonna be seeing me buy some games. By the way, just want to talk about it because in two weeks, two to three. No. No, next week. No. Yeah, next week. Oh, my oh God. look, look at it. Look at uh, him. Get uh, so, so excited. So, um, Stadia. Huh? Stadia. Huh? Stadia comes Stadia. out. Stadia. Um, Stadia. 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 Right. Stadia so, Stadia is going to come out. And, uh, Stadia. I have it pre- pre-ordered. I so think, I, I think. I should be receiving I think I'm going to buy it. It's only 130 mm-hmm. With taxes, about 160 It's not a bad price. It's not a bad price for a yeah, new console. I think I'm going to get it. And then, once my trial's over, because I get like three months, I think. Mm-hmm. Once I, I don't think I'm gonna keep paying it unless something crazy good comes out on it. Well, yeah. I mean, because no, not only I'm not only paying for the service, but I gotta buy the games through there. Too. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Well, their free service is supposed to be coming out next year, right? Yes. Like yes. where you just have the account, and then if you bought yeah. the games on so their I thing, got, like, you, you pay, could just you play buy it. Them everywhere. The only this, difference is that you won't have it like 4K and all that. Oh, yeah. okay. Well. I got unlimited internet right now, so really I have no. I'm not. Right I, now, you better have unlimited internet all the time. I just got. To be honest, I just switched it over to unlimited like a couple like wow. a month ago or so. Welcome oh, to the wonder. revolution. Because I never went over the cap, but now I'm going over the cap consistently, so I switched. Oh yeah, I've been going over the cap. No, I mean I could. I haven't had a cap in years. So I don't know. I could essentially use well, Xfinity. I told Xfinity, you better give me unlimited, that. and you better give me the best one that you got. Damn, like, all right. Well, how one, how come your your video always sucks? Oh. Uh, anyways, it's uh, because your internet any, sucks. Any, any final punches? Final punches? No, actually, today I, I'm in a, a very good uh, mood. Wow. Uh, it's, wow. A, yeah, it's beautiful weather. The fuck uh, is it gonna it's, rain later? It's cold. JRX. Uh, fuck out of world. <laughs> all right. Um, man, it's very easy, guys. Go into your settings. <laughs> take the auto sleep. <laughs> fucking here off. we go again. Select never. Like, come no. on. No. Like, stop tapping on your phones because this is... Some of us got got other things going on that we don't want to see other people never. to see. No. I don't see, never. All right. That's been our show. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind, we're on Anchor, uh, iTunes, uh, uh, what are we else on? Your on mom. YouTube. <laughs> uh, we are also on Twitter, Facebook, Insta. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Apple. Stitcher, Google Podcasts. Ooh, uh, fucking anchor. Uh, we have our socials on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're all over the place, guys. MySpace. Please like and support. High five. Please like and support. We're trying to do our best here to get this up and running. You feel me? We finally had everybody together. Uh, I don't work till uh, I think the last day of November. Like right after Thanksgiving, which kind of sucks ass. But yeah, so we'll see you guys here next week. Keep out for the uh, look out for the Hump Day show that comes on on Wednesday. What is the Hump Day show? We'll figure that out. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.